An insulating hollow sphere. An insulating hollow sphere has inner radius A and outer radius B. Within the insulating material, the volume charge density is given by rho as a function of radial distance R is alpha divided by R, where alpha is a positive constant. Part A, in terms of alpha and A, what is the magnitude of the electric field at a distance r from the center of the shell where r is between a and b? And part b, a point charge q is placed at the center of the hollow space at r is equal to zero. In terms of alpha and a, what value must q have, sign and magnitude, in order for the electric field to be constant in the region r between a and b, and what then is the value of the constant field in this region? So we have a hollow sphere, inner radius a, outer radius b. It's an insulator with charge density rho, which is non-uniform charge density, and we take a Gaussian uh, sphere at a radi uh, with a radius r, uh, as you can see here, and in part a, we want to calculate the electric field inside. And in order to apply Gauss law, we need to know how much charge is uh, enclosed uh, by this uh, Gaussian surface. Uh, the charge is in the region between R is equal to A and R. Uh, so it is the charge density rho multiplied by dV. And this is going to be integral from a to r alpha alpha divided by r was the charge density so alpha divided by r prime the uh, volume element dv is 4 pi r prime square dr prime r prime is our dummy variable so that's the uh, surface area of the uh, of, uh, of the sphere multiplied by uh, the thickness dr, so that gives us the volume element dv. Okay, so if I perform this integration, uh, alpha multiplied with 4 pi uh, comes out of the integral, and uh, r prime and r prime squares will uh, cancel so I will have an r prime left integral of r prime dr prime is 1 over 2 r prime squared so it's going to be r prime squared evaluated between r prime equals a and r prime equals r so this is going to give us now this 2 will get rid of this 4 make it a 2 this will give us 2 pi r square minus a square multiplied with alpha. Now I can write Gauss law, the closed surface integral e dot dA, the total electric flux, is e times 4 pi r square because the area vector here points radially outward and it has a value 4 pi r square at a distance r from the center. An electric field is only a function of r and parallel to the area vector. And this is equal to the charge enclosed, q in, divided by epsilon 0. And how much was the charge enclosed? 2 pi r square minus a square alpha. And we have to divide it by epsilon 0. And this will give us the following electric field. Electric field for r between a and b is now you can see that this 2 pi will make this 4 pi 2 alpha divided by 2 epsilon 0 alpha divided by 2 epsilon 0 then we have r square minus a square divided by r square, and it is in r hat direction. So this is our electric field. Now in part b, 
uh, we want to put a charge inside so that uh, we put a charge at the center Q in uh, is going to become charge Q the new charge we insert plus the, uh, the charge 2 pi r square minus a square alpha and when we calculate recalculate the electric field E dot dA with this new charge placed at the center so this charge is placed right here uh, we will have E times 4 pi r square now equal to Q divided by epsilon 0 plus 2 pi over epsilon 0 r square minus a square multiplied with alpha. So uh, we obtain an electric field magnitude uh, q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared plus alpha over 2 epsilon 0 r square minus a square over r square uh, and we can re rewrite this result as q over 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared and uh, then we have r squared over r squared is 1 plus alpha over uh, 2 epsilon 0 alpha over 2 epsilon 0 then we have this term minus alpha a square over 2 epsilon 0 r squared so minus alpha a squared divided by 2 epsilon 0 r squared now for the electric field to be uniform 1 over r squared terms must vanish all right so that will imply uh, q over 4 pi epsilon 0 minus alpha a squared over 2 epsilon 0 must be equal to 0. 1 over r squared terms must vanish. So this will give me um, if I multiply both sides by 2 epsilon 0, q over 2 pi minus alpha a square should be equal to 0, which means q is equal to 2 pi alpha a squared. So when the charge that we put at the center has this value, then the 1 over r squared terms will vanish and we will be left with a constant electric field uh, alpha over 2 epsilon 0 in r hat direction. So this is going to be our uniform electric field inside the spherical shell. All right, so in this problem, we have an insulating hollow sphere in a radius A, outer radius B, with a non-uniform charge density, volume charge density, alpha over R. First, we want to know the electric field in, inside this uh, shell. So what is the total charge enclosed? Because we have empty space here for R less than A. R between A and uh, R we have the surface uh, the volume charge density rho multiplied with dv integral the volume charge density is alpha over r prime the dv volume element is 4 pi r prime square dr prime so we obtain 2 pi r square minus a square alpha that's the charge enclosed the uh, gauss law closed surface integral e dot dA total electric flux is e times 4 pi r square the electric field lines are radially outward parallel to the area vector so the ch total charge enclosed 2 pi r square minus a square alpha divided by epsilon 0 is equal to the flux 
that gives us for the electric field alpha over 2 epsilon 0 r square minus a square over r square in r hat direction. Then in part b we place a charge at the center so that the charge enclosed by this Gaussian sphere becomes q plus 2 pi r square minus a square alpha. If we rewrite our Gauss law we obtain a new term q over 4 pi epsilon 0 r square. Now this term must cancel the term that has r in it, which is minus alpha a square over 2 epsilon 0 r square, the second term here. So if these two terms cancel, I will obtain a constant electric field alpha over 2 epsilon 0. When I write this condition, I see that q must be 2 pi alpha a squared, so that the constant electric field is alpha over 2 epsilon 0 in r hat direction.